Feline paw pads, if you ask me, they're perfect for the internet and especially social media. Toe beans, not quite sure I'd ever heard that term prior to say 10 years ago, but now if you're in and around the cat community online, toe beans bloom, they're everywhere. So I guess this naturally begs the question, what do these toe beans do exactly? What are the core functions of your cat's paw pads? In this material, I'll talk about the purpose of the toe beans and offer up 10 facts about paw pads. Get a bit of information, a bit of fun, perhaps a laugh or two. You know how we roll here at Senior Cat Wellness. Toe beans, I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Your cat's paw pads, what are they? First up, fact number one, toe beans are thin, pigmented, and padded skin. Soft, yet tough enough to handle and maneuver across various types of terrain. Fact number two, your cat's paw pads are comprised of blood vessels, nerve endings, and fatty connective tissues. These work in harmony to provide what amounts to a shock absorber, just like those cool little air pockets in your brand new sneakers. Fact number three, Paw pads help your cat to turn, jump, make sudden stops, sudden changes in direction or of direction, all the while shielding from that brunt force and these maneuvers from the actual foot itself in terms of taking the pain, as in the bones. Fact number four, each front paw has four small digital pads, the toe beans, a single and more pronounced pad in the middle of the paw known as the metacarpal pad and a small, a single small pad behind the metacarpal known as the carpal pad, the random bean pad. <laughs> as for the rear paws, felines have four digital toe beans and a single metatarsal pad on each paw. Fun fact number five, cats, they seem to have no issues dealing with life without shoes. In fact, they can manage rain, sleet, and snow and all that, scorching summer heat and just fine for the most part. How is that possible? Well, it's all about top quality circulation. This is why cats can withstand the elements far better than we can without needing any type of footwear. While that's not to say that feline paw pads can't suffer from exposure, they certainly fare much better than humans. Just walking down the driveway to check the male barefoot is more than enough discomfort for most people. Fact number six, color of the pads. Pink, black, bluish tint, speckled. The color of your cat's pads will start to resemble your cat's coat. As the feline ages, over time, those little pink toe beans will transform into something that Looks an awful lot like, look close to your cat's coat. Another paw pad fact, number seven, cats often use those toe beans for grooming and even water consumption. Have you ever seen your cat place a paw in the water bowl and lick it, or lick those paw pads and use them to brush the rest of the fur? The same pads that enable your cat to get from point A to point B with style and grace can also help to style your cat's fur. Talk about fancy. Fact number eight, be mindful of paw prints on those hot summer days. Feline paws have sweat glands, and if your pet is just a bit too warm, it could leave a little damp pad print trail as they travel. Pad fact number nine, those toe beans carry a calling card. Feline paws contain scent glands, and if your cat is scratching at random objects in your home, your pet is in the midst of releasing pheromones, claiming those spots as territory, similar to scent marking via the face or the body you know when your pet rubs against you. Cats will also mark with the pads and the claws those toe beans. They can not carry a message. And pad fact number 10, it's all about moving in silence. Those toe beans, they're not much for sound effects. Shock-absorbing paw pads allow felines to move around virtually undetected. Cats will never have to worry about clunky boots making too much noise in the kitchen, you know. Remember those nights in high school when you were trying to sneak back into the house after curfew or into the house after curfew? Man, having some toe beans would have certainly helped a lot of us. Before I things out with this topic, I'd like to take uh, just a moment, dedicate a couple of minutes to the subject of paw pad care and what you can do to make sure that your pet's toe beans are healthy. First off, it all begins with basic inspection. And while this doesn't have to be a daily activity, just a couple of times per week, when your cat is with you on the sofa, just take a look at your cat's paw pads. Do some investigating. Rub a finger across the pads. Don't go out of your way to irritate your pet, but just check things out. Even if your cat is living right, not limping or favoring the paw, there's nothing wrong with some quick inspection. If you do notice that your cat's pads are healthy, but perhaps just a bit dirty, use a soft cloth of your choosing. Give those toe beans a good wipe. 
Don't be too aggressive, but be firm and deliberate. That should do the job. If you feel or see that your cat's pads are a bit dry or cracked, please contact your vet and simply ask for moisturizing recommendations. Dry and cracked paws? This is one of those rare instances where a few at-home remedies could be advised, but before applying olive or coconut oil or something similar, please contact a professional. And finally, when it comes to proper care, you can't talk paw pads without talking about those claws, those nails. Here again, you can certainly trim your cat's claws, but it's truly a roll of the dice and it's very risky. The very last thing you want to do is harm your pet over something that is, quite frankly, many times a task that could wait. Once again, if your cat is in need of a nail trimming, please contact a professional. And I'm sure they'll be more than happy to cater to your feline and those claws. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, anything you'd like to add with respect to the toe bean conversation, general commentary, or perhaps a story to share concerning your pet's paw pads? Say that three times fast, pet's paw pads. <laughs> As always, the comments section, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much, as always, for watching. Stay tuned for more cute cats right after this message here. <laughs> and I will talk to you later. Take care, everyone.